today we're going to take a trip back in time to explore a surprising threat that once shook the very foundations of the church. No, I'm not talking about the Spanish Inquisition or the rise of atheism. I'm talking about, ready, drumroll, radio. That's what we're going to talk about today on the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. My name is Todd Rhodes. I'm your host and one of the co-founders over at chemistrystaffing.com. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Todd, radio, seriously, that harmless uh, little thing that plays music and talk shows, how could that possibly have threatened the church? Buckle up. I'm about to tell you a story that might surprise you, because back in the early 20th century, believe it or not, radio was the new kid on the block. It was the disruptive technology of its day, and it quickly became a sensation, captivating audiences with its ability to transmit voices through music and music through the airwaves. Now think of it, there'd never been anything like this before in the world. All of a sudden, you could turn on this little box, or I guess when it first came out, it was like a big console thing, right, with a bunch of tubes and all different kinds of things, but the technology was like a first of its kind. You could listen to music in your own home. Come on now, get out. You could listen to voices. You could hear news broadcasts. You could hear Jack Benny and all different kinds of comedy and radio dramas and suspense, and suspense things. It was a brand new thing. But for the church, now for the church, <laughs> it was radio was a double-edged sword on the one hand. It offered unprecedented opportunity to spread the gospel to a wider audiences. And churches could broadcast sermons and music and devotional programs, reaching people who might never step foot into a sanctuary. Now, yesterday we talked about digital strategy. Do you see a little bit of parallel here? Go back and listen to yesterday's podcast. I think you'll see it. But on the other hand, radio, while it had some possibilities for the church, it also posed a really significant threat. Put yourself back in that day as people flocked to their radios for entertainment and information. Guess what happened to church attendance? It started to decline. And suddenly, you could hear a sermon from the comfort of your own home without having to dress up, which people actually did when they went to church back then. You didn't have to interact with other people. You could even leave on your pajamas. And some church leaders even feared, get this, this was groundbreaking. It was all new. Some church leaders even feared that radio would make the church obsolete. After all, why go to church when you can get your spiritual mix fix from the airwaves? Now, we know that the church did not go obsolete. And, and any serious student of scripture knows that radio was not going to make the church obsolete. But Church leaders were scared, and rightfully so. The church, though, it didn't disappear. It adapted. It embraced radio as a tool for ministry, also recognizing the importance of in-person community and worship. And I think that's, that's still a lesson for us today in the age of podcasts and live streams and social media. Really, there's Solomon said there's really nothing new under the sun. We face similar challenges. Technology... Today offers us incredible opportunities to reach people and spread the gospel, but it also threatens to pull us away from the physical gathering, from the embodied community that is so essential to the Christian faith. So here's the bottom line, church leaders. Let's not make the same mistake that some of our predecessors made back in the early days of radio. Let's embrace technology as a tool, not as a replacement, but as a tool. And as I said yesterday on the podcast, let's use it to supplement but not supplant our in-person ministries. Let's always remember the irreplaceable value of gathering together in person as the body of Christ. It's still important and it will always be important. As always, if you need any kind of support or guidance in navigating this kind of ever-changing landscape and in ministry in the digital age, please don't uh, hesitate to reach out to me. Reach out to me anytime, podcast at chemistrystaffing.com. I'm here to help you with some coaching, anything that you need, If your church is looking for a brand new staff member, that's what we do all day, every day at Chemistry Staffing. I'd love to be able to partner with you and your church and tell you a little bit about how Chemistry Staffing can help you in that area as well. So feel free to reach out to me anytime at podcast at chemistrystaffing.com. Thanks so much for listening. 